Like, I think there's a lot of pressure that society puts on, let's say, launching a company, starting a company, or even your swim, right? But I think if people just looked at it like, I don't know if I'm going to start a company, but I'm going to move in that direction, to your point. I'm just going to chase the momentum. And in that, I always tell people, let procrastination be your guide. Like, if you're not into it, if, like, just stop doing it, right? If it doesn't get you through the next day or if you don't wake up the next morning with this zest, then move on from it. And I think business has a way of inspiring us to keep moving forward and then keep those improvements going. We're all like constantly chasing improvement. In business, the approach I take is kind of one that Ray Dalio takes, which is Ray Dalio basically gives everyone on his team, his entire company, a baseball card. And that baseball card on the back of it has what you're good at and what you're not good at. And so then there's like a real formation. Let's say public speaking. Let's say you're a 10 at public speaking. But let's say in Microsoft Excel, maybe you're not that great. And then Trust it, me. I'm at, the, I'm at the bottom of the pack. <laughs> <laughs> and so in that, this is what your, your baseball card would say. And then it becomes, okay, what is this team going to pursue? And so now we decide to pursue something. And then on the, so someone on your team would be maybe a 10 at Excel and maybe a 2 at like public speaking. So now you're bringing on these experts. And I think what gets lost, and I'm speaking directly to our audience in this, is the ability for people to create teams and how important teams can be to moving everyone forward, right? And on your swim in particular, you had a team. And those people we could argue, and you'd probably say, are we're the best in the world or are the best in the world at what they do. And without them, who knows if it's possible, right? right? And even at that stage, all of you are learning together. You're all learning together, and so you have to iterate. You're constantly trying to figure new things out. The jellyfish, how do we deal with this new problem as a team, as a team of experts? You've achieved it all. How do you kind of view the next thing that you want to do, the momentum you want to move into? Maybe this is where we talk about your new foundation, the Everwalk program, and the team you decide to bring in to kind of achieve this next step for you. Yeah, you know, I, I'm going to reach out to both of you right now. Because, you know, here I come in here sort of to be uh, lauded and say, wow, look what you've done and look what you mean to a lot of people. And it, uh, you know, that, that means something to me. It's not uh, shallow. And on the other hand, I will admit to you, and because you guys coach entrepreneurs and because entrepreneurs are listening to your podcast, um, I will admit that I'm just used to catching lightning in a bottle. I, I, every business I've started, I have no business plan. I have no idea where the capital is going to come from. I just march into CEO's offices and, and talk my firebrand, and I leave with a check for $300,000. But ever walk is this initiative. It's a national walking initiative. We've got a cool app. We've got a great website. We've got, you know, pretty cool little programs within it. But except for private funding, it's kept us afloat. You know, it's, we keep open, the doors open with our private funding. We haven't landed one corporate sponsor, no capital raised, you know, in the corporate world. And here we're in this world of walking. And I'm a pretty good spokesperson. And Bonnie's right on my coattails with that. She's better sort of with the public, like if we're at a park, she's got them all doing yoga and starting walking, whereas I'm giving the philosophical speech about, you know, walk the curvature of the earth the way I swam the curvature of the earth. And people are like, yeah, I want to walk the curvature of the freaking earth. So um, why has no company with three different brand managers, all of them have a terrific track record, companies, who took us on a year at a time. We paid them from pretty good money out of what we had, and not one of them landed a corporate sponsor. You know, we're just talking about a lousy, maybe a 200 grand, you know, for, for the year to keep, keep our doors open. So what am I doing wrong? And you just sort of reminded me of Christopher Reeve saying to me, well, you said all those years ago you were going to live every day, so you can't live at a fingernail bed. Is that what you're doing? And I was backed up against the wall. And I, I said I right away, I, no, that's not what I'm doing. So you just said you're going after something. Do you recognize that you're not waking up with the fire in the belly, that you're kind of letting it slide, believing maybe some white knight's going to ride through town and save you, give you some money, put you on the map? Or are you working at it because you're so excited? And I have to admit, since maybe about January this year, so that's we're getting to be half the year, I've been sort of stalling, hemming and hawing, not figuring out what to do about it, upset and not sleeping well because I want Everwalk to make it. I believe that we should make it, but maybe I'm just tired. Maybe I, maybe I needed a, to refresh the batteries and I've let it go for a minute, but I have to pay attention 
do I really want it? Do I want this to make it? And what, what are the next steps? Because whatever I've been doing has been wrong. I'm not catching lightning in a bottle on this one. It's got to be more of a grassroots, you know, and build it up and get, you know, 700 people here rocking with us and then another thousand there and build it. Because, you know, I want millions of people walking with an EverWalk brand on them and, and, and participating virtually and real with our walks. But we've done a lot. I'm proud of what we're done, but we're, we have to say we're not making it. And I, I need to figure out the next step. Before that, because you're pushing me to it today, Diego, I need to figure out is if, if that's what I really want, the next step, or do I want to let it go? You know, no shame in letting it go, but, but I, it, it would hurt, you know? Yeah. Or, I mean, you could still be the spokesperson. You could just maybe give it away. Well, I don't, yeah. You know, if I could give it away, if somebody wanted it, that would be a partner already. Yeah. And we don't have that partner. You know, tell everyone know, we, a little bit about what it is. We don't have the capital to uh, hire. Okay. You know, so in, in the beginning, the reason we called it Everwalk, the reason that's the trademark, is because that Everwalk, it, you know, it means everybody, every day. You know, sort of the the human race has has been a walker. We've walked everywhere, and if you travel to Europe and South America and Africa, people are walking everywhere, and it's starting here. A lot of it's COVID-driven. It's the one thing we could do and walk, but not really. You know, people in this town still drive a quarter of a mile to get a newspaper. The length of an oval of a track, they'll drive there to get a newspaper. So our sort of thing is, why don't we turn America, there are all kinds of statistics on how sedentary we become. We become, you know, sitting is the new smoking, is, a, is the phrase, du jour. So our our, our idea, and there are lots of walking groups, great groups. We like to we like to be in with them, mostly raising money for um, you know sort of disease prevention. You know the Susan B. Coleman walks for cancer, that thing, which is great. We support all of them. Ours is more like why don't you just walk for yourself, walk for your life, be a walker. You know, even even if you walked a lousy mile a day, you know that's not really your great exercise. You know, for someone who plays hard, intense tennis like you, walking a mile would be ridiculous. But if it were part of your every day life, you just say, that's what I do. I walk a mile every day. You know, after a while, some days you walk five miles, you have more time. Some days, you know, you and Natalia want to walk all the way to the beach, make a day out of walking. But if you walked a mile every day, if Americans said, that's what we do in America. We don't sit around on the couch and watch television all day long. We all walk a mile. That's what we do. That's who we are. That's who we want to be. Well, look at the blue sky, you know, take it, take it all in, come back, having waved at your neighbors, having seen the, the lending library and the little tree and uh, get your endorphins going a little bit. Just walk a mile every day. Walk more if you want. That's kind of, in a nutshell, who we are and what, what we want to be to the whole nation at once.